Jack drove 360 miles in six hours and an additional 440 miles in eight hours. What was Jack's average speed over the course of the whole trip round to the nearest tenth if necessary? Now let me show you the most common mistake I see with this problem. What I see students do, and this is not correct, is they'll find the average speed of each one of these separately first. For example, 360 miles divided by six hours, the average speed for this portion alone is 60 miles per hour. 360 miles divided by six hours is an average speed of 60 miles per hour. Then I'll see students work this one out, 440 miles divided by eight hours, that portion alone right here is an average speed of 55 miles per hour. And then what I'll see students do is they'll add these two together, 60 plus 55, those two average speeds that we just found, and then they'll divide those by two. Now we do see 57.5 as an answer choice, but that is not correct. Now this may not make sense, but this is kind of like GPA. When you take a certain class that has say one credit hour, and then you take another class that has three or four or five credit hours, those classes with a higher number of credit hours hold more weight in regards to your overall GPA. So basically that one credit hour class, less time does not hold as much weight on your GPA as a class that has more time or more credit hours. The same thing applies here. Notice Jack spent more time on this part than he did on this part of the trip. But here is how you do it, and it's actually pretty quick. What you want to do to find the average speed over the course of the whole trip is to take the total distance and divide that by the total time. And you may say, well, we did that. We took 360 miles divided by six hours. We took distance divided by time, but we didn't take the total distance. So here's what we want to do. The total distance of the trip would be 360 miles plus 440 miles. 360 plus 440, the total distance is 800 miles. And we want to divide this by the total time, not each time individually. Six hours for this portion plus eight hours for this portion is a total of 14 hours in all total distance divided by total time. So let's take the 800 divided by 14, and Jack's average speed is somewhere around 57.1 miles per hour for the entire trip. And as you can see, that is our answer right there. Sure, that is close to 57.5 miles per hour, but as I showed you at the beginning, I showed you the wrong way of doing this, which led to this incorrect answer here. So again, average speed for a whole trip, total distance divided by total time. Do not do these separately.